Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you three super easy and delicious zucchini recipes that do not involve zucchini muffins or zucchini bread. If your garden has an abundance of zucchinis that you don't know what to do with, then you're definitely gonna wanna keep watching. This first recipe that we're going to start out with is so delicious, you're gonna wanna make it. What are we making today, Miles? Zucchini cake chocolate. <laughs> A zucchini chocolate cake. This one is so delicious, you won't even know there's zucchini in it. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started with this delicious zucchini chocolate cake. Go ahead and carefully take the knife. Hold this, nope, on the other side, on the other side. Okay, we're gonna cut off right here. Good job, all right. This is for the chickens. <laughs> it is for the chickens. Miles was super excited that I let him use the sharp knife for the first time. I was supervising him very closely, so he just had a wonderful time doing that and loved helping out. So basically, we're just gonna cut the zucchini into pieces that are about the size of my Cuisinart thing here, and then I cut them each into quarters just so they fit in there nice and packed tight so they don't turn down sideways. I like my uh, zucchini to be a little bit, the shreds to be a little bit shorter, and if you break up the zucchini like this, then they end up being a little bit shorter instead of being super long strings, if that makes sense. I'm gonna actually shred way more zucchini than I need, so I'm just gonna put it in the bowl as I do this. You can totally freeze zucchini shredded like this. It makes it super easy to pull out and use later. I have got tons of zucchini as you can see, so that's why I'm just gonna shred up quite a bit of it right now. All right, so now that I've got my zucchini shredded, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my dry ingredients. I will leave the recipe link down below that I use for this. It is absolutely delicious, so you can check it out there but I've just got some all-purpose flour, some cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt here that I'm just gonna go ahead and mix together. So my camera was not recording while we were mixing in the wet ingredients. We did the wet ingredients in a separate bowl, and what did we put in the wet ingredients? Oil. First was oil. Oil. We also put in some sugar. sugar. So half and half oil, a cup and a half of sugar. We also did how many eggs? One egg. One egg. And then we also did a half a cup of almond milk. You it's can not use... from our chickens. <laughs> no, the egg was not from our chickens. A half a cup of almond milk. No. You can use dairy milk. I just use almond milk because that's what we have yeah. and I'm dairy free. Um, and then Three. how many cups of shredded zucchini did we put in? Do you remember? <laughs> Two cups of shredded zucchini, and we mix that all together. And vanilla, if you have vanilla, which is... Two teaspoons of vanilla, but I don't have vanilla. Uh, it's still marinating in the vodka, so we can't use it yet. Um, and then we just mix that all together, and then we poured our wet or dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. And now we have our cake batter, so we are almost ready to bake it up. All right, you want to give that a stir? Yep. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's hard to stir it, Mom. I've got a 9 by 13 baking dish here that I'm going to spray with some cooking spray and then I'm going to spread my batter evenly in the pan. Chocolate chips. And if you put it in there, it will be really yummy. You don't have chocolate chips. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below.
Bake this at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. I think mine took around 30 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean and then let it cool completely before you frost it if you do decide to frost it. This cake is absolutely delicious. I hope you guys will give it a try. Now you can frost this if you'd like, but it tastes really good even without frosting. Whoops, you missed your bite. No, I love the frosting on We don't have any frosting. up the zucchini into these bags. I put one cup each. I'm going to stick these in the freezer and that way if I ever want to make this again I know to pull out two because it takes two cups or if I want to make muffins I could just pull it out. Also I have another recipe that I'm going to show you here in a few minutes what I'll do with these leftover shreds. So this is a great thing to do with your zucchini if you aren't quite sure what you want to make yet but you do want to freeze it. This is an excellent thing to do. So I've got some shredded zucchini here and this works great if you pull it out of the freezer or you can freeze it fresh. Um, I just freeze tons and kind of put it in baggies and that way throughout the year we can use it. But anyways, I'm going to be making spaghetti tonight and I've got some peppers and onions that I've chopped up here and I'm using my shredded zucchini and I'm just going to saute this till it's done and then I'll add my sauce. And I used to just chop up the zucchini and put it in here and saute it. But I find that the little shreds just kind of blend in with spaghetti and then the kids don't even notice that it's in there. So here it is all nice and tender and it's cooked down quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell. So now I'm just going to add some pasta sauce to it. This is great if you're trying to do meatless meals because it kind of makes your sauce a little bit more um, chunky and more substance than just pasta and sauce. So as you can see, the zucchini just kind of blends right in with the pasta noodles. So this is Miles' plate here. The kids absolutely love spaghetti and I usually make it once a week. So this third recipe I have for you in this video is one of my absolute favorite ways to prepare zucchini. So I'm just going to chop it up um, into big chunks. I also have a yellow squash here from our plant that I'm gonna chop up as well. I'm just gonna put those in this grilling basket that I have. I'm also going to chop up a bell pepper. This is also from our garden and this little purple one here, one of our plants only does purple bell peppers. So I'm gonna also chop that up as well. And I have an onion. Feel free to add mushrooms or anything else that you'd like to add or leave out anything that you don't like. I like to cut the onion and bell pepper in fairly large chunks so that way all the vegetables are kind of roughly about the same size so they all cook pretty evenly without the smaller ones getting mushy before they all get tender. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle it with a little bit of oil. I'm just using some avocado oil here. And then for seasonings, you can season it with whatever you have. I'm just using some Trader Joe's Everyday Seasoning and some garlic powder. Um, I also add a little bit of salt as well. I just change up the seasonings each time I make it depending on how I feel. But you can just use salt and pepper if you'd like. Um, just feel free to add whatever seasonings that you like. Once you have your veggies all seasoned and oiled up, go ahead and put it on your grill. I've been doing this for many years and so I know our grill and how long to cook it and what temperature I need to cook it at. So this might be a little bit of a trial and error method for you to figure out how to cook yours on your grill since every grill is different. But what I do is I just set the timer for about every five minutes and then I just stir it around and I notice that one side always cooks a little bit more than the other. So I make sure that I really get that area so they don't burn. So you just want to keep a close eye on it because the onions and peppers will probably burn first. So again, like I said, trial and error, just kind of figure out how long it'll take for your grill to cook. I think this usually takes about 15 minutes or so. And there you have it. It looks absolutely delicious and tastes even better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below sharing your favorite zucchini recipes. I hope you'll give these recipes a try. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.